questions. There's a lot of questions I have about almost anything, so I decided I should list some of them for you. Some are of great relevance to everyone, some have only relevance to a few, some have only relevance to me, and some have absolutely no real relevance to much of anyone or anything. I will make no attempt to provide the answer to any of these questions. Indeed, many, if not most of them, have no answer. I list them in the order they pop into my head while writing this, and, as of this moment, I have not thought of any questions to list. So here goes. 1. Why does a washing machine turn some clothes inside out and not others? Tonight, for example, it turned all my t-shirts inside out. It's never done that before. That leads me to question number two. Why does a clothes dryer turn some clothes inside out and not others? Which leads me to number three. Why does a dryer seem to never turn the clothes that the washing machine turned inside out back to right side out? Number four. If fundamentalist Christians are right, and the earth was made in six days, starting on October 23rd, 4004 B.C., according to Bishop Usher, why did God make all those fossils, which when dated using the decay rate of various radioactive elements, date back millions of years? Number five. Was God just trying to snooker mankind? Maybe trying to test those who believe in the scientific method, the which method has gotten us things like the internet and indoor plumbing? Number six, who was the hardy soul that first ate an oyster? I mean, have you looked closely at a naked, shellless oyster? They look and taste like a gob of particularly lumpy snot. And that person convinced other people to eat them too. Number seven, what does that say about the general gullibility of mankind? I have no answer, but ask you to recall question number four. Number eight. If theoretical physicists are correct and time does not really exist, why do we remember yesterday and not tomorrow? Number nine. If three-dimensional space is equally illusory, why am I here and out over there somewhere? There's lots of over there's where I'd rather be, but here I am. Number ten. If ancient theories about solar eclipses are right and a big invisible sky dragon eats the sun, doesn't that mean that the sun, when it reappears, is now dragon poop? Which leads me to the last question, perhaps the most important one, for which I have no answer. Why are you people listening to me? You may read the text of this on my blog at bydean.com. That's B-H-A-I-D-I-N dot com.